invite you to raise one or two hands on the heart space for us to arrive in a moment of presence to sink head hearts guts for what's highest and best for us in this moment on this gift of day in the silence may you meet yourself and meet familiar air energies that are supportive to your walk and your path today Breathe in, breathe out, blink your eyes and mobilize. Let's take it into one minute of intuitive movement. This is our Motivational Movement Monday, but just for now, be curious, be strange, just one minute. Thank 
Community breath in, community breath out. Well, here we are. Welcome. I'm Robert Halley, a creative wellness coach based in Toronto, Canada ish. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit north, and this is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, Huron Wendat peoples. And I welcome you to Monday's motivational movement. As always, there is a prompt. Shall you choose to share in community or take it into your own introspection? That's up to you. But I am here to serve, to take up space as a queer person of color, to bring diversity and play to our wellness. So thank you for sharing time and space. It might be virtual, but it's vibrational, no matter where you are. Close your eyes, we're all the same. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All right. Hey, Karen, Holly, Salini, beautiful. Shorter session, not reading them all. We have walking, yoga, and we have geese. So you've moved your body lately through geese. You you became a goose. Oh my gosh. Is that your superpower to morph? Go, go, gadget, geese. Do, 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 do. Good for you. Work it out. For me, probably a six. I'm recovering from New York where I walk like 20,000 steps a day. Um, have I moved my body lately? Walking and bouncing. I have a new morning routine that involves lymph, lymphatic bouncing. It's a Qigong technique. And there's different arm techniques. It's going really well. Totally not a fan anymore about waking up, sitting down in silence. I like some movement. So my movement's the bouncing. And then I sit and I can sit longer. Well, we thank you for the hearts. There's some life out there. Awesome. So we do rotate every other Monday when I am not double booked with dance choreography, contemporary dance choreography and kundalini yoga. They're both dynamic. The last time we did this session, it was Halloween and we did the thriller dance. If you weren't here with Yin Creative Wellness on YouTube, you can find a lot of the replays there, but I'm happy you're here. Hello, Brie. Yeah. Today is kundalini yoga and I do have a virtual community membership where we meet live and we check in with each other and it's wonderful to have accountability and habits. So we did some kundalini on Saturday. We did two kriyas. Today for this shorter session we're just going to do one and lucky you or unlucky you if you wanted more yang, this one's more yin. It's actually called, what is it called? It's called wake up from tiredness and you actually can do it in bed. So lucky duckies, if you're still in bed, stay there or get your ass back to bed or just lie on the floor. All right, let's have a sip and we'll, we'll have an experience. I will be away from my technology. So in case you don't stay till the end, Please join our group, The Journey With Yin or Robert Halley on Insight Timer. Starting today, we're doing accountability of the 369 manifestation method. So if you want some accountability and get some inspiration, feel free to join us. <laughs> and then of course, if you see value in this, I'd love any support. Stay connected, add me as a teacher, a donation, or maybe you review one of my sessions. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here we go.
Please find a comfortable seat. If you're choosing to lay down, just stay there. Stay there. <laughs> Rock right to left. Forward to back. I'm going to shift something in the screen. Find an even arrival, feel distributed all around. Float ears over shoulders, over hips. Breathe in, shoulders rise. Breathe out together and down your back. In, rise. Out, down your back. Breathe in, palms together, breathe out, give them a rub. Let's rub for 30 seconds to stimulate the nerve endings. Make some circuits with your brain. Warm your hands up. Different techniques, circle, circle, circle. Open fingers. What kind of spell will you cast on yourself and your life? What are you pondering up? What connections are you making? Three, two, and one. Inhale, eyes open or close, arms float away, exhale, they come back together. Play with the chi in. Lungs expand, arms expand, exhale, come back together, touch or not. A minute of silence for your pranayama body breath connection. Maybe play with diagonals or parallel, enjoy a break from my voice. <laughs> Inhale, kiss the palms together. In Anjali Mudra, exhale, thumb to sternum. Eyes opened or closed, we tune in with Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. To tap into the golden chain lineage of all the yogis, students, teachers that have come before. We acknowledge its roots back to India and South Asia and tap into the wisdom, science, and art. Breathe in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale Exhale, sandwich the hands, 
where and what needs the most love in your life, in your consciousness? Is it you, a certain community on the planet? Lord knows there's a lot of madness going on that's not in the frequency of love. Where, even for a moment, would you like to dedicate your life force and light to one word, one sentence? Inhale deeply, exhale, whether you offered something to yourself or not, offer something to yourself now. Let your hands explore the body and land maybe on a chakra or a joint that's stiff. Take five mindful breaths. Wish wellness for yourself. Know that you are your own teacher, healer, doctor, and guide. Inhale deeply, exhale, drop your hands, blink your eyes, sway, sway right to left. This will be your only warm up <laughs> because we're basically gonna lie down. Again, the Kriya today is called wake up from tiredness. Extend your legs. Slowly fall. Maybe you're on your forearms now. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> and then, boop, there you go. Please lie down. I will speak to right and left, but whatever side you're on will do. If you want, you can have your left side towards me. <sighs> Reach your fingers down. Maybe you press the back of your head into the floor. Lift your upper chest. Externally rotate the shoulders and lower them down. Palms can be up, fingers slightly curled, feet hip distance apart, and start to mobilize those ankles. At first, very subtle. So you're not going into a full flex and point. It's very subtle. Maybe it's even rapid. Boop, 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 boop. Eyes can be closed. Breath is natural. Mm, maybe you are in bed, waking up. I invite you to slow down and really go for a full flex. 26 bones in the foot. All the interesting tendons. Point and flex, opposition. Is your big toe still in line with the tendon over the knee and ankle? Or are you noticing that you're sickling with the big toe curling inward. Have the experience you want. I will allow a moment of silence. Choose your adventure, whether passive and no muscles get engaged or very strong to the point that you engage your upper thigh and the calf. Be with yourself. Be with 
your breath. Four, three, two, inhale, flex both feet, exhale, point both feet, hard, 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 and then relax, neutral, catch the rebound. In stillness, what do you feel? Breathe in, breathe out. So interesting, the subtle energy trickling up. Inhale, bend your left knee to the sky, sole of the foot down. Exhale, release it down. Continue, breathe and move. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, extend it down. This will evolve. For now, just be super simple. Maybe you slide on the floor, bed sheet, exhale, slide down. The groaring region is the wind gates. So very good to open the wind gates where a lot of lymph lives, big component of your immune system. I invite you now to be a little more strong and let it hover. So it's like boom and boom, boom and boom. Inhale against gravity, exhale, return to gravity. It's not breath of fire, just stronger. Inhale, use your hands. <laughs> Give that left knee a hug. Exhale, release. Inhale, opposite, right knee in. Exhale, release. Hug really hard and firm. Have some compression in the groin region. Continue. What will open, opening your wind gates do? On a 3D level, it might help you go take a nice bowel movement. On a 5D level, the world is yours. Travel on the wind. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, grab it in. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, grab it in. Wake up from tiredness, that's what it's called. This Kriya. Keep waking up to your potential. Whether you're tired or not. Maybe on one level you're tired. 
could be spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Multiple studies, you move your body, it helps with depression. Endorphins, so move your body, move your body. 10 more. Inhale, exhale, neutral, catch the rebound. The miracle bet is you. Inhale deeply, exhale, maybe you side out. We become serpents and snakes now, how appropriate for the kundalini coiled serpent at the base of our spine. But the focus isn't there, it's in the shoulders. Inhale, lift your right shoulder, your right hip. Maybe you go into a type of banana C curve. Exhale, left shoulder, left hip up. Maybe it causes an oblique engagement. Maybe it looks like you are a human serpent slithering across. Where's Skittles when you need them? We have a mascot, Skittles the snake, that has the nerve to be sleeping and not assisting me. Gosh darn. Continue, be as subtle as you want. Be as profound as you want, where it's like, whoa, I am feeling things here in your torso. If there's anything yoga teaches us, Qigong, Tai Chi teach us, is to breathe consciously, Connect the breath with your goals, your tasks. Enjoy. Feel free to lift your head off the floor, half a centimeter, if that helps the twisty twist, under 30 seconds. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale, let it go. Let it flow. Catch the rebound, the miracle that is you. In stillness, silence, and breath.
Inhale deeply. Exhale, blink the eyes, bend your knees, walk them up. Give yourself a hug. Intuitive massage on your back. Feels better on a firm floor than a mattress, but you are where you are, where you choose to be. May you approach your life wholeheartedly. Spin the femur bone in the bowl of the pelvis. All right, give yourself a hug. You deserve it. Breathe in, breathe out, squeeze, lift your head and circle the head. Doesn't have to be ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Maybe it's just a subtle, small orbit, one direction. Keep your heart open. Shoulder blades squeeze together and down your back. Four, three, two, one. Lay the head down. Inhale, extend the arms and legs. Exhale, wiggle. Breathe in. Breathe out. Give yourself a hug. Lift the head. Circle the other way. Transcend the neck muscle engagement. Transcend the experience. Just do the task. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, lay the head down, extend the legs and the arms up. Breathe in, breathe out. Three more postures in this Kriya to wake up from tiredness. Now, I did mention this is a more yin practice. But what I failed to tell you is that there is one very yang posture. If you know Kundalini Yoga and you hear the word stretch pose, <laughs> you might know what's coming up. Basically, in this tradition, they really believe in setting your navel point. When you set the navel point, you can keep your legs up. All the nerve endings go through there. What is there? That's your third chakra. Action, will, confidence, determination. Who wouldn't want to set that point, especially in the morning? It also helps you to get the bowels moving. There are many options. I will do the most advanced and then introduce the other ones. This is through breath of fire, rapid exhale through the nose. The inhale happens automatically. If that doesn't work for you, long, deep breath. If you're congested, doggy pant. Point the legs, inner thighs together. Reach the fingers towards your legs. Lower them eight inches off the floor. Head up, chin to chest. Look at the navel point and go. I'll speak to the options. You can lower one heel, keep one leg straight. You can do a chair on your back. You can extend one leg, one leg in chair. You can have your knees to your chest, still reach the arms. That's still not working for you. Soles of the feet down, lift your head. There you go. Do what you can do and feel good about it. Keep going. Don't judge yourself if you're moving through these variations. Just keep the breath. Keep that attunement of the navel center. One minute left. Yes, one exciting minute.
Rest if you must, but do not stop. Don't you want to have a breakthrough in life? Today's always the day for that. Inner gut thighs engage. It's not just your core. Use the body tempo and energetic intention. Twenty-five. Fifteen. Five. And slowly lower down. Let the toes fall apart. Breathe naturally. Notice where and what and who and how you are in this moment. <sighs> You don't need permission to moan, to process, to release in the highest and best way. Hey. Mm. Mm. Inhale deeply, exhale, feel that power that lays within. Inhale, bend, bend your right knee in, exhale, grab that knee towards your chest. I invite you to toss the knee back and forth between your right and left hand. We warm up our spinal twist, an excellent thing to do before you get out of bed and to wake up from tiredness. Once you feel your spine is a bit more warmed up, allow that right knee to fall across the left for your spinal twist. If it doesn't hit the floor, hey, that's A-OK. -okay. Your choice to anchor the right foot inside the left knee or maybe it floats off. Maybe there's pillows. Catch a mindful minute here. Opposite arm can support. Gaze up or away. Maybe the arm's open to a T. Breathe. Allow. And have the twist originate from many vertebrae, not just one. Divide the work in your beautiful body temple. Inhale, flip the eyes back to the sky. Exhale, lower your right pelvic crest down. Kick the leg forward. Just for a moment, notice the difference. Maybe there's more length in the right side. Take a mindful note that movement makes a difference. Breathe in. Draw your left knee in. Breathe out. Keep it there. Pass the knee. <laughs> Pass the knee back and forth across the center of your body. Warm up the lower back, your hips, your buttocks. When you feel warm enough, land your left knee across the right. Maybe the right hand supports that. Gaze up. 
or away from the top leg, enjoy your mindful minute. Arms in cactus, strong T, choose. We're all different and it's perfect as so. Breathe in, eyes to the sky, breathe out, lower the left pelvic crest. Extend your legs forward, palms up, catch the rebound. Mm. Breathe evenly in the right and left side of the pelvis of your lungs. Can this moment be enough? Yes, it can. Can you be enough in all the ways you see yourself? Yes, you can. Can you be enough no matter what's in your bank account? Yes, you can. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, give yourself a hug. One final posture and it's done seated. You have the option to rock and roll. Maybe the hands are behind your knees. Use some momentum to roll up, or you can roll on your side in fetus. Use your hands, press the body temple up, scoot back. It's always nice to sit on something, extend your legs forward. Peace, love and light always. Two peace fingers grab inside the big toe. Your thumb presses on the nail bed for an acupressure point. Breathe in, find length in the elbows, the back. Breathe out, bend your elbows, pull lower down. It doesn't have to be a flat back. You can concave, drop your chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, erect the spine, elbows. Exhale, give in. Let's go, enjoy the meditative movement. In the silence, meet yourself. If you're not able to touch your toes, your hands are elsewhere. Length, softening. Length, on in. And the breakdown, the breakthrough, on the out. You are where you are. And I promise you it's enough. It's enough for you, for this day for the special plant and medicine that you're cultivating mindfully. See how long you can extend your breath. Three, five, six, eight seconds in. Find that same amount out.
One more minute. Give yourself the gift of a, a flexible, healthy spine where nerves and arteries work together to support the magic miracle that you are. Fifteen seconds, some nice blood flow to the brain to wake up from tiredness. Stretching your life nerve at the back of your leg. Whew. Simple yet profound, eh? Inhale, rise up. Exhale, interlace your, cross your legs. Inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, thumb to sternum. We close with Sat Nam. Feel the Sat tone rise from the tailbone, actually from the core of the earth up the table through all the chakras. Nam, the crown chakra explodes like fireworks, a fountain of bliss to seal our practice. We begin. to third eye point. Exhale, bow to honor your practice and this sacred moment in conscious community. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. There is great love here for you. May the peace echo in and everywhere. May you take this mindful practice, your breath off the mat and into your life. Again, I'm Robert Halley. I'm a creative wellness coach. This was Monday's Motivational Movement. We alternate with contemporary dance choreography to express yourself, increase the heart rate, help make that brain-body connection to prevent dementia, Alzheimer's, and then we do Kundalini. So however you choose to move, may you do so mindfully, joyously, sometimes out of your comfort zone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is your word? What is your relationship with your body? One to 10, how connected do you feel to your body? What's your word now? For me, I feel like an 8.5 connected. I think standing would have made it go up higher. And my word is deciphering the grid. 
my words, deciphering the grid. You have an opportunity now to practice reciprocity. Shall you got some value from my energy, my voice, my movement, my guidance? How are you gonna demonstrate that? I see some hearts floating up, hearts floating up, that's an option. You can simply say thank you you can wish each other well. Maybe you offer a donation. Holly, thank you. Oh my gosh, it sounds like my last name. Some people call me Holly. Inner joy radiates out into the universe. If we're not connected, the bottom right corner. I'd love your support. I'm here to serve in this very unique time on the planet. Help me take up space. Bring some diversity and play to this sector. Maybe you listen to a meditation and offer a review. All of that helps me. No one's checking out. Are we multitasking? I do it too. <laughs> but thank you for your support, everyone that was able to join today. Again, if you want to join 369, nine days of accountability, Join the Insight Timer Circle. It's called The Journey Within or Robert Halley. If you'd love to learn more or join me on Zoom, withian.ca, there's drop in yoga and coaching and one to one. Would love to connect with you more in an intimate way. Social media, Withian, creative wellness. There's one question why do you choose Kundalini from all the yoga forms? I'm glad that you bring that up because as a creative wellness coach, there is no one way to health or wealth. We need different things at different times. Um, when I became certified, I did do Kundalini first because, you know, being a professional dancer, a lot of the stretching is very similar to Hatha or Vinyasa. It's like I dance, I stretch, I get it. So Kundalini was very interesting to me because um, there was movement and I'm a movement artist. So that type of dynamics. And I find, you know, we're in this age of inf information and it can be quite challenging to be with yourself and in stillness. So when you move, you move the body, you flush the glands, you strengthen the nerves, you have your cathartic breakthrough. So that's another reason. Uh, it's a little more accessible, then you don't really have to be flexible to do it. But advanced practices of Kundalini, when you're inhaling, you're squeezing your anus, your sex organ, your navel point, and your eyes are turned up and you're like, if you are consciously thriving to raise the kundalini, that needs to be done with awareness. Because maybe you'll have a migraine. Maybe there'll be some type of psychosis situation. So please tread lightly with kundalini. You can always breathe and not do the advanced practices. But that's the short answer. It's also to change it up, right? Can we have fun? Can we laugh as much as we cry? Hopefully that answer satisfied you, Nitz. Thank you, Liz. You have a similar outfit. Yeah, I know I wore this shirt before and I thrive to wear different things, but some days I just want to press the easy button. So that's why. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Heidi, envious of your art. I'm an old and have se severe disc disease. Hearing you talk about movement is helpful and comforting. Thank you for saying that, Heidi. I do feel that 
in our presence, in our words, in the possibilities. So maybe there's some mobility challenges for you at this time. But there's visualization. Dr. Joe Dispenza had some spinal challenges. Maybe check it out. He healed a brain, a spinal or a spinal injury through visualization. So a lot can happen. And I'm glad you were able to receive something from the guidance, from the words, from the movement. God bless, God speed, all you need. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome possum. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a live tomorrow. Tuesday's Talk Towards Truth. Bring your journal. Short story. Quotes to ponder and consider. And some questions. See you where I see you, here, there, or everywhere. Thanks for the support. Light. We close with some art and melody.